So with House of Wolves slated to launch tomorrow, I wanted to talk a little bit about it and my thoughts on it as an expansion to the Destiny IP. So my first thing is with Trials of Osiris, I was looking on the Destiny app and on the website and looking at how much it actually costs to ascend gear. And if you've been playing Destiny quite a bit and not even necessarily that much, you can have basically ascended material and gear straight away to have your stuff maxed up to the highest rank and I'm I'm okay with this in two aspects but not in the third um, so basically what I'm going to talk about what I'm not happy about is we have Trials of Osiris starting and that's going to happen on the weekend um, basically anyone who's going to be using a Vex a Fawn a Last Word they can have that to the highest rank straight away and that is just going to be overpowered as shit so literally all that's going to be is those free exotics used online and then a fell winters as a secondary or maybe the predethian's revenge because that's like a fast firing two shot kill sniper rifle and then i'm assuming truths would be the heavy weapon slot and if not head truths maybe the ragorist's fury but that's why I'm not really happy too much about that is because I know that those weapons are going to be abused and there's really, the only thing you're going to be able to do is either try and outsmart the enemy, try and lure him into a trap, but unfortunately you just know that that's going to be the shitty, shitty aspect of Trials of Osiris, is it's just going to be exotics overpowered, used constantly. Although there is going to be a gap between when House of Wolves is launched and then to the weekend when you can get the ticket to get uh, mo maybe something that you can use instead to try and outsmart or beat those players in Trials of Osiris. So that's that's my downside to Trials of Osiris, is that you just know it's going to be exotic spam, and it's going to be maxed out free 365 damage, so you're going to basically get destroyed if you're playing with underpowered gear, because it's like Iron Banner, and I believe you don't, you get the same armor rating, so if you can try, and go into Prison of Elders, you will be able to hopefully get to maybe 33, and if you're very, very lucky, get to 34 to try and withstand those Vex rounds, those fawn like lingering bullet damage, or just the bullets in your face from the last word. So that's my opinion on that. Um, I could go into that all day, but I just, I really despise people who use exotics online, mainly because it shows really a lack of skill. Because if someone says to you, oh, hey, use this weapon, you're going to kill a whole bunch of people. Um, Good, good for you, but if you can't find weapons that you're happy to use online and that you enjoy using online, you're not really going to have a good experience. You're basically just playing to win all the time, and that's fun. That's that's good. You can play to win as much as you like. But if you're going to be playing to win just to use the most overpowered crap to win in like public games when you're grouped up with six people, playing against all random people that are all like under 1700 Grimoire, and you know that they're like only on their second character, then really, dude you don't have any skill you're not playing the game well enough to like allow these new people to compete against you so uh, luckily enough the weapons are balanced but pretty much you don't get any good weapons until you reach rank 20. mind you, you do get some good green ones with a nerfing balancing um like the xerxes c which is like a two free shot kill but still with zombie apocalypse with max stability increased range beats that out most times so yeah that's my opinion on Trials of Cyrus. I said I was going to stop, but I keep on going, so I'm just going to go on to my next thing. I'm also not too happy about the Queen's uh, bounty stuff being able to be bought again. I kind of like the aspect of my character, which I'll probably show on screen in just a sec, with its rose gold shader. Because I bought that when the game first came out, and I've been rocking out on my Titan ever since. Mainly because it just looks absolutely so cool. It's got that deep, rich purple color on all the palm armor plating. It's got the silver trim on it, and then it's got that, like, gold as segments to show, like, royalty. And it just, it's just awesome. I love it. But um, now that you can actually go back and buy it, not so much. Like, um, I do like that other shader, but it's a little bit less shiny. But you have to be rank 3 to get it um, from the Queen's Bounty. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Uh, also disappointed for those six bounties we did, you couldn't get XP gains by putting on the Queen's Bounty Emblem and the Queen's Bounty Shader, because if you could, I would have an extra 20%, and I'd be a lot closer to being ranked 2 before anyone else, and getting that extra shader. So yeah, that sucks. Mind you, I do, I do like the fact that I can go back and buy Rose Gold for myself and my other characters, because I only kept on my Titan, because it looks absolutely cool on the Titan. The other characters, not so much. Um, other than that, 
I'm probably going to leave a bit more of the stuff for House of Wolves a little bit later on. Um, as much as I enjoy it, I'm going to look forward to playing um, Prison of Elders. Um, I've been collecting keys so far. I've got four keys and I have seven passage coins so far. I'm going for my tenth today with the daily missions. So that way I'm pretty much prepared for House of Wolves when it comes out and trying to get all of the unlocks to get myself to like rank 34 as quick as possible. Yeah, so that's all I'm really going to say about it today. I look forward to playing it. Um, I hope you guys do too. And I'm going to be putting up some videos for it pretty soon. I have got one which is pretty funny. I like it because it is how to get the Fate of Skolas, Skolas uh, mystery card for the Grimoire, which is worth five gamer, sorry, five Grimoire score. And I have a really, really funny way of going through and getting it. A lot of people go and shoot the mines and kind of kill the enemies. And I'm just like, bam, zip to the moon. So yeah, I'm going to cut it off there, guys. Don't forget to check out my other Destiny videos, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>